Yeah. Mm. As you are all aware, we are in a crucial moment in this company now. We stand the chance to lose our job in two weeks from now. That was why the company sent us on a training. Except for Mr. Samuel, who had an accident on his way. By the way, he promised to resume today. Has any one of you had anything from him? Good morning, sir. Oh, Mr. Samuel. Good morning, sir. You're welcome. Hi, sir. Yeah, very fine, sir. You're welcome. Oh, You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Father, thank God for your promptness. Mm. We are in a meeting. Okay, sir. Uh, as you are all aware, the company declared a loss of 687 million naira this year. And as a result of this, the management decided to downsize by 80%. The only saving grace we have is our bid with First Oil Company. This bid worth 2.8 billion naira. But if we lose in this bid, then we will be the first to kiss this company goodbye. The main purpose of this meeting is to know who is ready to lead the team for the bid. Please put your hands together. No, 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 sir. Table. No, sir. Um, don't you know the person that leads the team will be the first to be fired if we lose? I, I, I will raise up my hand so that you lead, sir. No! Ah. How can you come up with such suggestion? You know that is not my area of specialization. Um, sir. Yes, Samuel. I will lead the team, sir. Samuel. I suggest you don't. Leave those who attended the training to lead the team. They have gained enough knowledge to do the job. Besides, you are just recovering from your sickness. And more so, you are a junior manager in this company. The MD will not, will never Subscribe to you leading the bid. Uh, uh, sir, I, I will, I will uh, suggest um, you uh, help us to convince the MD uh, to allow him. Uh, since we are all afraid to lead the team. What? Mr. Emmanuel, you mean I should report that you a senior manager in this consulting firm is afraid to lead a team of consultants? Actually, sir, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. You better be. That's a rate of the foundation of many generations. And that's what they call the repairer of the bridge. The restorer of parts to dwell in. Oh, you are welcome. Without turning away, oh, that's very fine. Actually, I know you're fine, right? Yeah. Um, listen here. I need your prayers. On what? I volunteer to lead a team of consultants uh, for a job uh, at First Oil Company. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Actually, many top companies will also be pitching for this same job. Mm -hmm. And you know the danger there? If I lose, that means the company has lost. And 80% of the workers may lose their job. You cannot lose. And why? 
because you have made a covenant with God by sacrifice. Covenant by sacrifice. Covenant by sacrifice. The covenant! The covenant! Yes. Ah! Yes! That means I'll be traveling tomorrow. Sweetheart. <laughs> Honestly, I've tried several times to stop this, but I discover that each time 
I make a commitment not to do it again. The hold is strongest. And I find myself in it again. This has been the main issue disturbing my marriage. In fact, it's about destroying my marriage and ministry. I really need help. Hmm. I understand. I really do. Hmm. Because it is a way I have treaded before. Until. Look at that village over there. In that village, people are often used as sacrifice to weak and unknown God. And the benefit of this sacrifice is often for a brief moment. Meanwhile, the person used for the sacrifice does not partake in this enjoyment. This is the covenant they make by sacrifice every year. See what happened few months after the sacrifice. They eat and drink for only few months and after suffer for the remaining months. Year out, they continue in the sacrifice, yet they still live in chaos and trouble. But I want you to take a look at another city over there. Ha! Ah, this city is good, sir. Why didn't the people in that village go over to that city? Is a choice they needed to make. But they chose not to. Because they couldn't fulfill the only requirement that is needed for them to enter into this beautiful city. And that is death. Oh. Death? Yes. Death. Oh, uh, Baba. Are you talking about heaven? I'm talking about a heaven on heart experience. This is a situation where someone on heart is experiencing what people in heaven are enjoying. And this can only be possible by death? Yes, a covenant by sacrifice. Anyone who wants to enjoy this life must make this covenant he must be ready to lose his life and carry a different life he loses his life through the sacrifice yes anything that is sacrificed to a god cannot return alive he must lose the life he carries look at the man that is laid there Oh, 
man that has been sacrificed to their gods cannot live. He cannot live again because he is dead. That is true. This must first happen before you can create an environment of heaven around yourself. An environment of heaven? This is what happens immediately you make a covenant with God by sacrifice. However, nobody forces anyone to make this covenant. Every individual must willingly present his or herself for death. There is no one who submits himself or herself for this death that does not experience an environment of heaven. To submit oneself? Yes! Self is the inner you that directs your thoughts, actions, and deeds. It controls your life. In fact, it's your life. Self? <sighs> yes, see him. Hear him. I am tired of standing. I need some comfort. Have you had him? That was why you were looking for something to sit on. Sir, that was my thought just now. That was the statement of the man inside. Ah, ah. You mean, this is what must die? Yes, he has to die for another man to come in. But, but sir, what will I don't use for reasoning and decision making? The new man that will come inside. Can't I manage the new man with him? If I release him for that now, won't I be useless? That is why you have not been a good husband to your wife. Why did you say so? It is only those who serves are useless and dead and have allowed the new man to come into their hearts that can have a good home. The problem is she won't follow simple instruction. She does not submit. Yeah. You see, Seth has answered me. Can you now say that is he responsible for all the turbulence in your home? Let me tell you the truth. God can never release a proper child into such a home. <sighs> Is that so? But the doctor said, I have low sperm count and that she has fibroid. Y yes. It is very difficult for men who serves are alive to believe God, particularly when what is being said is contrary to human thinking. Oh. Ha, Baba. I believe you. I believe you, Baba. Please, what is the way out for me? Put him to death.
your lack of agreement with your wife and love for her has prevented heavenly blessings from coming to your home. She is the one frustrating me. She will never see pains from my hunger. And the Bible says, I am the head of my family. She does not recognize that instruction should flow from the head and not from the bottom. She always wants her ideas to supersede mine, which I can never agree with. Never. Can you see? Ha, huh? ah, Baba. He woke up. This self has woken up again. Ah, Baba. Hey, what can I do? So, he's actually responsible for all my misbehaviors. Ha! Ah, ah. What can I do, Baba? Please, what can I do? Yes, he is. You cannot stop his activities by fasting. Ah. When you fast, you only make him to be calm, but not weak. Physical harm cannot kill him. You only wasted your time by cutting him with cutlass. Um, one more thing, sir. I think my violent behaviors and childlessness is due to the generational cause in my family. The generational cause was effective in your life because Sev is still alive. Look at the mark on his head. It is the mark of the violent behavior and childlessness. It was brought about by the refusal of your grandfather to pay his laborers who genuinely labored on his farm. Ogoja, after laboring on your farm for many years, you refuse to pay my dues and allow my only son to die. I decree, as from today, the spirit of violence and prolonged delay in childbearing will not depart from your family. If you can allow self to die, the generational cause dies with it. Because the new man was made a cause for your sake, so that you can be causeless. For there is no enchantment or divination made against him that can prosper. Every man who carries the new man is causeless. Hey, hey. <laughs> but, but, but some Christians still go for deliverance for such generational causes because they believe it is still effective in their lives in spite of their faith in the Lord. They are not Christians. Eh? They may be churchgoers, at best religionists, but they are not truly born again. For all his saints made covenant with him by sacrifice. This is a sacrifice of self. As long as self is dead, no enchantment or divination made against you will prosper. A stand warning to the kingdom of darkness is, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Because an environment of heaven has been created around such a person. So, um, Baba, what shall I do? What shall I do, Baba? If you are really ready, take him to the cross. A lot of people cannot do this, and as such, they cannot live victorious Christian lives. Forget areas of my immense usefulness to you. Like this. Why did you report to the GM that I did not submit the LNG report? Don't you know this can affect my promotion? Look here, Mr. Emmanuel Jones. <laughs> if 
my promotion failed to sail through, you will regret you ever came to this world. This is not a tale. Okay? Yes! Thank you, Jesus! Ah, can you see? Can you see how I used hunger and violence to secure the promotion for you? Even though you gave the glory to God, He eventually returned it back to me because He hates everything that concerns me. He cannot condone it. But the problem of the company started shortly after. And I have not even collected my increment from that promotion up till now. So, of what benefit was that promotion to me? Okay, okay, okay. What of this? If you are there, and you're saying I want to have my own encounter now, I think that is a very lofty decision. And so I will be inviting you now to please come out, come to the altar. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I want you to begin to talk to Jesus. Begin to acknowledge that you know you can't help yourself. Tell Jesus, take my life. Take my life and let it be yours, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. I made that happen. I gave you utterance and make them come out for the altar call. Oh, I see. Do you know Joseph? That was one of those that came out. Was not drinking before he came out for that call. He was only fornicating. Now, he drinks and smokes secretly. Apart from that fornication. John. The second person that we thought was already born again recently protested that the pastor was preaching against him. He left the church and started his own. Jennifer. Jennifer was fornicating with people outside the church before answering to that call. But now, she now does it secretly within the members of the church. Maybe you do not know that it is only those who abide in Christ that will bear fruit and their fruits will abide. Okay, okay. I, I am sorry. I'm sorry. Eh? Sorry. Sorry. No, not again. Not again. Ah, ha, ha. that you God desire and immediately any man does this you promised to allow your spirit to dwell in such a man father you that see not as men sees do unto our brother as you God have promised that you would do unto him. He has decided to release self for that. So Lord, let him have the experience of a new birth now. Lord, do this. 
opportunities for us. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with this. Anyway, um, thank you for your time. I will get in touch with your company. You may excuse us. Thank you. Uh, 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 but Jen, it appears like you don't have um, good consulting firms on your list. How many more do you have uh, waiting? Uh, actually, sir, we have two. Okay. Um let's send him in. Sir, the news from the pitch is not palatable. Innovation consulting has lost out. Craft consultancy just lost. Do we really have a chance? If top consultancy companies like that are out already, then our job is really on the line. Everyone was afraid of the pitch. When we all realized that the person may be the first to incur the wrath of the MD, or probably be sad. So we just need to wish somewhere well. It will be so disastrous if you, if you lose out. Disastrous will be an understatement. It will be a calamity. Then we need to pray for Samuel. <laughs> prayer. Now, prayer is rather late. Okay. Well, I appreciate the fact that you have an understanding of the challenge that um, we have as a company. And that is um, sourcing foreign exchange for our operations which appears um, very scarce in light of the new government policy which has made uh, foreign exchange to be very, very scarce. Well, running uh, operations with the parallel um, exchange rate has been very, very, very expensive. It has um, eroded into 82% uh, of our profit margin, which is not acceptable. Um, well, it's uh, from your proposal it looks as if um your solution model hinges on lobbying the government and probably bribing the cbn and government officials in order to achieve uh, foreign exchange targets is that right yes sir it's not really bribing what gratification, sir? Uh, to appreciate them for for what they are yet to do, Mister Williamson of Midas Touch. Is that right? Yes, sir. Well, that is a bribe, and you see, there is no room for that in the present Nigeria of today. Moreover, we, as a Christian company, we cannot do that. We can't do that. If we actually want to be bribe and all those things, there would be need to uh, invite consultants to, to tell us what to do, to guide us on what to do. We have to note that um, bribery and every form of gratification has brought this nation to the present uh, level uh, in which we find ourselves now. Can you imagine uh, the largest economy in Africa, yet among the 10 poorest? In the world, it only shows that the resources of this nation, uh, they are in few hands. And those people appear to have uh, converted this even to dollars and then they keep them in septic tank, they keep them in um, overhead water tank under their bed and what have you. And you see, it has not really helped us. Well, um, we thank you very much for your time. We'll get back to you. Thank I'll you. Take your leave. Mm, can you can excuse us. Okay. 
Uh, GM, uh, any other company? Mm, yes, sir. Uh, the last one is actually the systemic consulting company. Are you sure we can get uh, anything good from this company? I think I better leave you guys to uh, attend to, to him because I'm not really pleased with what I've been saying since morning. So, I'm saying, sir. I, I would suggest we give this um, presenter uh, a, a benefit of doubt, sir. Please, sir. Okay, send him in. Let him come in. Okay. Next presenter. Good evening, gentlemen. Hello. You're welcome. I started this presentation 30 minutes ago. Yeah! Ah! 30 minutes! Ah. Oh my god! Only God knows what to be going on there. Ah! Yeah! I call the solution model the business investment exchange model, that is the BIE model. It involves speaking with your current suppliers who sell products to you about possible investments in Nigeria and conducting an in-depth investigation about this likely investment and showcasing the ROI, that is, the return on investment, if they eventually buy into it, then First Oil will fund such investment in Naira in exchange for the value of the product you want to buy from them, uh, which will be paid in dollars. Um, that which is presently scarce, even as we speak. Beautiful! Beautiful! That is it! Just what we need! Yes, sir. This is what I'm waiting for! Oh, I love this! I love this! Oh, yes! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, sir. You know what? I want you to lead the team from my company to personally implement this project. And, see, I'll pay you one million naira per month! No, no, no. I know you're thinking about Smith, your MD. Just tell him he has won the contract. But I want you to join the team, my own team, to implement this. I, I'm really in love with this. So we, we need to talk to more. <laughs> I want us to begin to plan right from this moment. Wow. Yes. Wow. This is great. <laughs> ah, it's all for celebration. Exactly. Exactly. Hello, sir. Well done, Samuel. I know there's this potential in you that you have not yet exploited. Good boy. Just why the MD of First Oil just told me he has offered you a millionaire for your service per month. I'll surely double that because you are worth more than that. And I'm also offering you the position of the Deputy General Manager of the company. Thank you, boy. I'll see you immediately I return to the country. Thank you, sir. All glory to God, sir. Thank you, sir. Jesus! Jesus! Ah! Ah! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! Ah! Joy, is it still ready? Almost, ma'am. Okay. Because it is there is God because I know He was my future. My life is worth a living just because He lives. Covenant by sacrifice. Ah.
Jesus, the new man inside. Thank you for this victory. You indeed undo this presentation yourself. You made me say what I have never read or heard before. Ha! Ah. Indeed, every life one lives in the flesh is a mere delay of true manifestation. I thank you for winning the soul of Pastor Moses. Thank you for the evidence of speaking in tongues. How can I thank you enough, Lord? Lord Jesus, you have already forgiven us of our past misbehaviors. Please, do something new in our lives. Make our joy full by healing me. I wish to stand to serve my husband myself. Thank you for the encounter that brought all these manifestations. Take all the glory, Lord. I also thank you for my patient wife. Nonsense! Yeah. Who's that woman? Who's that woman? What do you mean? Nonsense! Yeah. I'll teach you another lesson today. Lord Jesus, please heal my wife. Lord, make our joy to be full, Lord. Send your help, please. Send your healing unto my wife. Ah, God. How I wish you can do this for us. I am sorry for my foolishness of the past. Ah, said your healing Lord.